Hello, we're here at the UK launch of the Ford Mustang, and look who I've bumped into. It's Supercars of London's Paul Wallace. Hello. Appearing on our YouTube channel. What's going on now? <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought I'd snag you, put you in front of the camera, because, well, Supercars of London has become a big thing. It's just exploded on YouTube. So, what can you tell us about what is coming up for Supercars of London? What great adventures have you got planned? Yeah. Or what can't you tell us? Oh no, I, I can definitely tell quite a lot of stuff actually probably. So there's a big trip happening at the end of February okay. that isn't supercar based. So this is again like what you're saying, Supercars of London has started uh, with supercars in London yep. and has now moved and sort of progressed to so many different outlets of the automotive industry and the world of cars. Yeah, yeah. So uh, an interesting car, a road trip across Europe, two weeks with supercars in April and then as we sort of hit the summer, the big events that come up, it's just going to be really, really exciting. So lots of supercars, lots of non-supercars, a lot of fun, a lot of funny people that you've probably seen in, well, seen all over YouTube. Yeah, right? yeah. So speaking of supercars, currently you've got a Lamborghini yourself. We've seen all of the stories that even a lot of motoring outlets have picked up on. You've just turned 25 just turned and you've 25. Grabbed, just grabbed yourself a Lamborghini what an achievement <laughs> yeah, thank you hey i've got i've got a year and a half to try and go from mx5 to lamborghini to the, 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 the jump is there yeah the I'll, there. It'll, be, it'll be a running jump to be fair. <laughs> but, okay so i thought we'd play a little game here of i've owned we've both owned three cars in the past yes and i thought we'd just compare them to see where we stand a little bit of woolly cool. waving if you will yeah. so my first car was a uh, voxel corsa SXI, oh, get that, yeah. 1.2 litre, yeah. and uh, yeah. What year was it? 99. 99, what about you? okay. Mine was a 2007 Vauxhall Ooh. Astra SXI. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I've been top trump so right at the yeah, beginning. It was, a, it was a, a 1.6. It was the car that Top Gear said when they showed the concept, you know that, that shape? Yeah, the yeah. Room? And they said, if they actually make, I think Jeremy Clark said, if, I'm, if they make that and make it look like that, I'll leave my own hat or something like that. So yeah. I got that one, really cool car. Um, and it was manual. Yeah, Cheap that, to that fix was, and repair, I've found with mine as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Source in general. I didn't have to repair mine actually. No. <laughs> Speaking of repairs, my uh, Corsa was callously written off. It's parked at the side of the road. And, Somebody tore down in a uh, Citroen Saxo. It's always a kid in a Saxo, isn't it? Ploughed straight to the side of it, and that was the end of my course. And now I understand your Astra met a grisly end as well. It did, it did. Unfortunately, I was in the car as well when it happened. I was stationary at a toll booth in France with, um, with my sister, girlfriend, nephew in the car. My mum, brother, and his girlfriend were in the car in front. Yeah. Stationary like this, just getting our tickets, and then all of a sudden a, a brand new Mini is just ploughed into the back of us. So that the Astra got written off, my mum's car got written off, and the Mini got written off as well. Oh, <laughs> Fun <nasty. times. laughs> So your second car, after the Astra moved on, was a manual 2008 Audi R8. That's quite a step up. Did you See, find... that's what I'm saying, the MX-5 to the Lambo, <laughs> it's doable, it's doable. Did you find that... Like, obviously, it's a massive paradigm shift to go from economy car, effectively, to supercar. Yeah. Was there a period of adjustment where you're like, oh, God, I can't park it outside here because I have to worry about more than just bird poo? Yeah, sort of yeah. There, there was definitely a period where I kind of got used to the ownership of having that sort of car. Um, and I think it just was, it just, just having a half sensible head on. Yeah. You can kind of get away with the power of delivery, how that sort of feels. Um, but it's a safe car, the R8 is such a safe car, yeah, the all-wheel drive quattro system is amazing, and you really have to be an idiot to get yourself in a pickle. Yeah. So that car is almost idiot proof, and yeah. The howl of that V8 as well, I mean. Yes, yeah, like stock, it sounds great, but it's kind of muted, so I put the yeah. Omnitrix exhaust system on it and made it really shouty and antisocial, which is... Well, you've got to do these <laughs> yeah, things, exactly. haven't you, whilst you're young. Exactly. I mean, we can't all be 70-odd with the grandkids going, oh, you know, <laughs> cram into the boot of the... <laughs> anyway, uh, my second car, Mazda MX-5. If you ask almost any motoring journalist, they've owned an MX-5 the, at some point. The most point. successful sports car in the Absolutely, world. yep. And I made mine more successful by putting... Uh, martini stripe over the top of it. Oh, yes. uh, my friends sound like a bit of an ass, but I mean, what <laughs> yeah. do they know? Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I love it to bits. It's a really pure driving machine, and uh, it taught me a lot about how to drive a car. Uh, yeah, Not imagine. the most powerful car, but just, you know. It's manageable power, though. Absolutely. Small body, enough power, rear wheel drive. That's something that I haven't experienced. Well, I tell you what, if you ever go to a three car garage, you can buy an MX-5 now for, you know, just about a grand for a half decent bit one. Bit of a drift car. Co yeah, it costs about 25p a week to run as well. <laughs> oh, so Jesus. Who knows? Yeah. So your third car, which is what you're on at the moment. Yeah. Tell is, us about that. It's um, the 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 Bicolore edition. The longest as Lamborghini yeah. do. The longest name. Um, but it's basically um, a, a rare limited edition Gallardo, yeah. uh, an amazing car, real step up from the R8. People say, oh, the R8 and the Lambo, same sort of car, but because it's different engine, the Lambo, literally, oh, it's just... Different amazing. temperament of the two cars yeah, as well, isn't it? Yeah, and it's just an absolute lunatic, absolute lunatic. So. Yeah, we've been seeing on the channel, it looks like we've been having <laughs> such fun with it already. Yeah, it is a cool car. Amazing. And your third car? Uh, my third car, I went to uh, Toyota MR2, Mark III, so nice. mid-engined, mid I can yeah. join you yeah, in the yeah, mid-engine yeah, 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 of course. Um, and that was great, it just drove like a go-kart. I mean, it did try and kill you in the wet because it has the weight distribution of a spinning top once it starts <laughs> to slide. Um, but that one sadly met a grisly end as no. well because parked in exactly the same space as the Corsa, the somebody Saxon reversed... Back. Oh, not the Saxon <laughs> this time. Somebody in the tank... Uh, uh, bear in mind how small the car is, a tank of a Volkswagen Golf reversed out their driveway. They did it in January and it was repairable and then they did it again a few months ago and they did it properly and killed it and that was it. End of the no MR2, way. so oh, it was what a shame. shame. I'm back to the MX5 and I'll put that back on. I kept nice. it in the garage, so yeah. Oh, it was a pleasure meeting you, Paul. Yeah. Well, Thanks thank so you. much for taking yeah. a moment to no chat. Worries. And uh, check out the Supercars of London YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, and we'll catch up with you guys soon. Cheers, Paul. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more on the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For all of the latest automotive news, written reviews and coverage from motor shows, go to www.insidelane.co.uk.